We're going to talk about storyboards today. And the first and foremost thing is everybody thinks storyboards are just pictures on square boxes and that's all they are. And it's not really the case. Storyboards are an item in a shopping list of what you need for effects, sound effects, and all the like. Oftentimes I get students who just make their own, and that's fine, but you have to realize that storyboards need to be contained in an aspect ratio. So if you're going to film HDMI, then you need widescreen format. If you're going to focus on like an Instagram, you might need square format. Each panel is basically you sketch out the shots, and everybody thinks it ends there, and it really doesn't. Every shot is a camera angle. It's basically the progression of video. And what oftentimes I get is a series of images. No context, it's just, here you go, this is what it is. Big thing that you need to understand is you need to put information in there. A storyboard is not just a series of pictures. It's not a comic book without words. And so first thing you're gonna do is describe the camera. The camera is basically the position of the camera, what type of shot it is, and what it's doing. Next, you're gonna use dialogue. Dialogue is simply taken from the script and it's going to fill each scene up accordingly. Description is basically what's in the shot. You have FX. FX are your special effects. If you need anything particular in there, like a lightsaber battle or even something as simple as fog. Audio is just your music and the scene. It's the background music. This kind of helps give tempo and pacing. And then finally, sound effects. Sound effects are would be like an engine uh, roaring or it would be footsteps. And so that's going to help you really kind of define what's going on in each particular shot. And then up on top, it's pretty explanatory except for timing. Um, scene one, shot one, scene two, shot two. Those are basically the sequence of your shots. Page one is, you know, on a big production, you might have 500 pages. But the timing is the next part that you really want to pay attention to. That is simply how long that frame's going to be on TV. There's a big difference between one second and five seconds. Five seconds can potentially drag on. Adding directions is the next thing you need to do. These are visual cues for somebody looking at your storyboard. They show whether the camera is zooming or an object is moving forward. Any real movement in the scene is created by arrows. I didn't really get into camera angles and things like that, and that'll be another video. But ultimately, this gives you a basic idea of what you're going to need for a storyboard. And that'll help you in the pre-production phase. Basically allow you to go collect the assets you need for each scene and get a better, faster, final production. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it.